Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 26th of 2023 well, it is titled IC 4628, the Prawn Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here we see down in the constellation of Scorpius, a little bit down south of the bright star Antares, we see an emission nebula known by its catalog designation of IC 4628, and also more commonly known as the Prawn Nebula. And perhaps you can see the resemblance to this type of creature in the sky. So perhaps like a nice prawn or shrimp in the sky somewhere. Now this is actually an emission nebula. Now an emission nebula occurs when there is gas left over around hot stars that have formed. So it takes a couple of different things to form the emission nebula. You have to have the gas, but gas by itself is transparent and you don't see it just like our own atmosphere. You don't see our atmosphere. And the only way you can see a gas is if it is excited. So when we excite the gas in a neon tube, it will then glow and give off distinct colors. Each element gives off its own distinct coloring. So how do we excite gases out in the depths of space? Well, hot stars that have formed around that in a an, an open star cluster. And the first hot stars that form very hot, very massive, give off primarily ultraviolet radiation. Now ultraviolet radiation is just like visible light, but more energetic. It is ultraviolet or beyond violet. So it is more energetic than the violet light, which is the most energetic of the visible spectrum. So that ultraviolet light is energetic enough to strip electrons off of atoms. And when it does this, the electrons are removed. Now, atoms don't like to not have their electrons, so they have a tendency to recombine. So those electrons will recombine. And as they do, they give off the energy. So that energy that was absorbed will then be re emitted when the electrons recombine with the atoms. Now atoms have specific levels of energy where the electron can be and as it jumps through each of these, it gives off a photon of light associated with that energy difference. So while it may be an ultraviolet photon that is given off, when it recombines, it can give off infrared visible light photons or ultraviolet photons of different energies. So it, for example, in hydrogen, it gives off a very distinct red line and hydrogen being the most common element in the universe will dominate the color of an emission nebula. So an emission nebula will tend to have a very reddish color because hydrogen is dominant and it makes up 90% of the atoms in the universe. So it most likely if you pick out an atom out of the universe, you got a nine in 10 chance that it's going to be a hydrogen atom. And your next best bet is a helium atom at almost at almost 10%. And anything else is going to be a very small percentage indeed. So here we see that emission nebula in the prawn nebula located in the constellation of Sagittarius near the plane of our galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for July 26th of 2023. It was titled IC 4628 the prawn nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.